No crazy intro or anything, ladies and gentlemen, today in this video because I've actually got family sleeping right above my room. But hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living YCS boo-boo stain off that like and subscribe button as we climb even higher, the 1500 ladder. Um, so let's just dive on into this today. No fancy intro or nothing. Um, YCS Bologna proved one thing and one thing only. Well, actually, a couple of things. Uh, the first thing, number one, is that Konami gets triggered when you say that a player probably got DQ'd. You want to know how I know that? Because I went into their YouTube chat on their European site where they were live streaming the event, and I said it's taking a long time for them to get back to this top eight live stream match. One of the players probably got DQ'd, and they timed me out. Yeah. That's what triggers Konami when you say a player probably got DQ'd. <laughs> uh, doesn't it just put a chub in your pants? It puts one in mine. Anyways, uh, the next thing that YCS Bologna proved uh, is that hand traps need to be hit. Okay, I'm past the one minute mark in some fucking way. I am sick and tired of hand traps, ladies and gentlemen. And this event, more than anything, proved you can literally take a... Make your deck a Fiendsmith deck. Throw in a good level 7 extender engine like Cash Tira. Slam it together, throw in 20 hand traps, or in the case of Pack, 22, 28 after sighting, six in his side, which were six fucking mole charmies, and then you're just off to the races, Sugar Boo Bear. This format, need, the, the next balance, I should say, not even this format, this format's dead in the water. It's diverse, but it's dead in the water. And we're going to talk about that. But this next ban list needs to, in some way, shape, or form, needs to ban Fualos. For God's sakes, I doubt that's going to happen. It needs to ban Shifter, which we've known. And we need some sort of hit to hand traps. Yes, I'm actually going to say that. It's something that I've debated on really talking about. But now this event has proved hand traps need to go in the garbage. Like, I'm sick of this shit. Like, uh, a perfect example, right? When I played Centurion, and I got 10th place at that regional in Florida here, like down south, like probably a year ago now, it was literally 15 hand traps, three talents, two desires, three Tikaboo, and a small Centurion engine, whatever Centurion cards were available after their first wave of support. And I was just Crimson Dragon King Calamitying people all day. They would shift for me, I don't care. They droll me, I don't care. Like, those were the two biggest hand traps at the time, and it could play through Ash. And then, if anything, you had talents and all that. Like, that's what decks are becoming now. I mean, hell, Tempai's a perfect example of that, where you're playing on average 20 to 25 hand traps, not even counting the fucking side deck. So, we need some sort of hit to hand traps. I don't care how it's done, it needs to be done. Um, <laughs> the other thing that this proved is that, well, we kind of already knew this, but it definitely, like, just proved... This format is very diverse, despite the issues. This format's very diverse. Guess what did not make top eight? Snake Eye Azamina. There was a lot of rogue at this event. The top eight was eight different decks. That's as diverse as a top eight can possibly be. Eight unique decks. And it wasn't something like Fire King and then one Snake Eye Fire King. No, it was eight unique decks. I don't remember them off the top of my head, but it was like Memento, Ubel, Fiendsmith, Cash Tira. Uh, Mermail, like, it was eight unique decks. And so, to see the diversity of the format just unfold in front of our eyes is really, really cool. I really like that. The problem is moving into crossover breakers, where we get Rhizol and Malice. I don't know if we're going to see hand traps be pulled back, or if just some are going to evolve. Like, in one way, shape, or form, right... Artifact Lancia is going to see play because that just shits all over Malice. It's a shifter deck. It craps over any shifter deck, right? And so, even though in the OCG, post a ban list, because I guess they're technically one ban list ahead of us because they already have Supreme Darkness and all that, regardless, Rise All and Malice are the best decks, but most decks there are playing anywhere from like 11 to maybe 13 hand traps. They're mostly relying on in archetype engine and maybe some board breakers. Unless you're Tempi or, you know, just something off the wall. And so I don't think, pending any ban list, I don't think we're going to see Hand Trap suddenly decrease down to like 15 tops. I think we're still going to see decks like Fiendsmith, Cash, Tira do well, Ubel do well, 
and Rizal and Malice are going to be able to hang in there with them. Um, and especially, too, because Rizal technically doesn't get to full power until February when we get Maze of the Masters and we get 7th Tachyon, and I'm assuming as well 7th Ascension, which I believe Search is 7th Tachyon. So, like, it just makes the deck more consistent. Uh, before then, you have to basically play Triple Bonfire and some number of copies of Small World, and my small brain can't handle learning Small World connections. As much as I want to play Rizal, I'm going to have to wait till after YCS Orlando, which sucks, which means you can't even play Blue Eyes because the structure deck won't even be out then. So YCS Bologna, at the end of the day, showed that the format's diverse, which is great. Even Pax said he played against a lot of different decks, a lot of rogue decks. But the fact that we have a deck as good as Fiendsmith Kashtira that can play close to 30 hand traps, depending on your build, but 20 plus in the main, and in Pax case, six in the side, 28 hand traps in a 41 card deck, almost 30 hand traps. That is insane. The fact that that is a thing, and when you watch the deck operate, like if you just do test hands, proves what I'm about to say. We are now at a point in Yu-Gi-Oh! where you can take an engine as good as Fiendsmith and a generically good engine in Cash Tira, slam it together with hand traps, and you just hand trap the opponent out of the game, and if anything, you just beat them down with a Cash Tira. Like, that's all you gotta do, Sugar Boo Bear. And at the end of the day, you know, you're, maybe you're setting up a Disarray with or without a Wave High King. And if you can't set it up, well, if they hand trap you, they get punished because you've got a Unicorn on the field, so you get an extra deck rip. You gain that knowledge. Why not? It's easy. It's simple. Like, if you cannot tell me that dropping out a unicorn, a 2500 attack body, and then trying to do Fiendsmith combo, and then you get hand trapped to Oblivion, you can't tell me that that's not good to be able to at least get an extra deck rip. And then if you went second, you're swinging for 25, or you're just passing on the 2500 attack beat stick, and then you probably also have a berth on the field because you searched it with unicorn. Like, that's crazy. Like, a, a lot of the test hands I did with Pax build, I was opening up like five hand traps, and I didn't care. Because if you go first, you're just going to like pass, and you're going to make the opponent crap all over the venue floor because they're going to be like, oh, he must have like one of the mole charmings and he just didn't open well. And then they're just going to have to try and play, and you hand trap them out of Oblivion. And if you go second, you hand trap them out of Oblivion, and if they somehow still summon two times or more out of the extra deck, you summon out a hand trap, you drop out Sky Crisis, and now they're still crapping all over the venue floor, hopefully not on stream, because ain't nobody going to want to clean that up. <laughs> so, I cannot wait until January. We get Supreme Darkness. We hopefully get a fresh banlist. I really think we're going to get a banlist, and then sometime in December, if not like December 31st or like January 1st, because that's what they did last year, and I think that's just going to be a yearly thing. Um, but the format still needs to change. I think it's great that Magical Musket Fiendsmith won the event. Still shows that Fiendsmith need to be hit. Still shows that Fiendsmith Ubel needs to be hit. Uh, still shows that Snake Eye. Um, I don't know if really Cash Tira needs to be hit, but definitely Snake Eye needs to be hit. The Azamina cards certainly need to be hit. Fire King needs to be hit. Um, I think Fiendsmith in general definitely needs to be hit. If you, if you take Fiendsmith out of the equation... I think that fixes a lot of things in the format, and then just some hits here and there to like Ubel and Snake Eyes and all that, maybe even Cash Tira, I think will fix a lot, and possibly banning or limiting some hand traps, I think will go a long way, uh, because again, at the end of the day, we're not going to suddenly drop a bunch of hand traps, maybe we will, once we get crossover breakers, but like, some hand traps are just going to get swapped out for others like Lancia, and then you're still in the same fucking position, so guys, let me know what you think about this event down in the comments below. I hardly watched any of it. I watched a couple of the feature matches, and then when I got timed out by a mod in the chat because I said someone probably got DQ'd, I'm like, whatever, fuck me, I guess. Like, cool, that's what triggers Konami. That's what gets them all upsetty spaghetti. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.